Okay. It is saying that it's recorded. Can you guys see? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, can you tell? I mean, I'm really not adverse to Zoom yet. So, but anyway, um, my name is Belinda. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm under uh, Karen Batty. And um, tonight I just, hi, Jen. So I just wanted to find out um, and do a little bit about what I um, do for like host coaching. Um, Je has everybody been here um, with the Pamper Chef for a couple months, at least more? Jess, you're shaking your head no? No, it's been like four days. Four days! Yay! <laughs> Good job. I'm glad you joined. Jen, I know you've been around for a while, and Carol and Kimberly, it's been a couple months now. But anyway, um, so I'm a director, and like I said, I'm with Karen, I'm on Karen Batty's team. And um, I found out recently, uh, actually about maybe a year ago, that Host coaching is one of the most important tools that you could ever do with your business. Um, because if you want to have um, $300 shows, then $300 shows it is. But if you really want to have or double your shows, your show sales, then you definitely do want to do some host coaching. I'm not going to go into it a lot as far as host coaching um, because on uh, Consultants Corner, there's um, awesome videos on it and stuff. But I just wanted to give you a few pointers that I've done. Just actually, some of them are recently, but the main thing, um, I've doubled my, my show sales, which are normally about eight or $900 now every month. So um, it's nice. So I don't have to go out of my house as often because I, I have, you know, bigger shows. So anybody can do it. It's just, it's fairly easy. So I think the, one of the most important things is to know why your host has booked her show. So we always, you know, we always ask, you know, if you want to book a show and stuff, but, um, you know, you want to check out her temperature, check out her temperature, listen to her why, ask her why she decided to book with you. It's, it's not a yes or no question. So she should be able to answer. You know, some hosts have um, booked their shows because they want the free products. Some of them just want to have fun with all their friends and their guests. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, so listen to her. Um, some of them just, like I said, want to have the free products, want to have fun with the guests. Maybe it's as simple as just wanting to help their friends get the free get guess, gifts. So most of you will do like um, games at your show, maybe the Q&A round or something, give out little trinkets. So they like to see their friends getting small little gifts like that because then they know that their friends are having fun. Some hosts, though, only book a show because we tell them it is so easy to book a show. So if you don't know why your host has booked a show, and let's say the latter of the four, so they're, um, she booked just because you said it was so easy to do, but then you turn around and you say to her, you know, the following day when you make a, a, a follow-up call with her just to keep her excited because that's important. Um, and you tell her, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to make a list of 40 people that you want to invite and blah, 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 blah. You want to start working on your outside orders because we have 5, 10, 15 outside orders before your show will make a bigger show. Now, remember, this is only for the one that said that they are only booking because it's easy. So we want you to start working on outside orders. You got to make out a wish list for me. Oh my goodness. Give her you you're going to give her words to say so that she can get you bookings. So for that particular host, 
she's going to run. She's going to be scared to death. This is too much work for her. So it's very, very important, I think, to really know your host and why she wanted to book, <clears throat> book the show in the first place. So every host you want to remember, every host is unique. They book shows for different reasons. So find that out. Find out their reasons. Write it down. When you start getting really busy, um, Jess, especially, um, now that you're just starting, you are probably got your kickoff shows going and you're trying to get yourself going. So what you want to do is write everything down. Don't try to keep it all up into your head. I, As soon as I book a show, a folder is made. I've got um, all the information for that host. Um, I put little stickers on my folders that say um, uh, labels, actually, that, matter of fact, I'll pull one right here. It says, um, I don't know, if, can you see this? Hmm. You probably can't. How come you guys, I'm seeing you, Jess. But anyway, what it says is it, it says I gave the packet or I mailed the packet. Then it says I put it in the Pamper Chef website. I put it on Facebook if they want to have a Facebook event. My host coaching first call, my host coaching second call, my host coaching third call. Then when I closed out the show and when I did my out of the box, and um, that's probably all kind of Greek to you, but um, so I've got, I make out all the labels um, and I stick them and I make out their folders right away so it's kind of trying to keep myself organized because when you're doing eight to ten shows a month they all start mingling in together and you just cannot remember okay who did I f who did I call and find out whether or not her microwave was big enough for the rock rock or the deep covered baker so I write it all down right on my folder um, I don't try to keep anything in my head. There's enough in my head already. So, so remember that, you know, to write it all down. Um, and another, another thing is the day after that I book a show, I think there's really two, two calls or t uh, two texts, emails, Facebook messages that I do that are really important. The other one, if I can't get a hold of them, then I try another way or whatever. But then if I can't get a hold of them on the second one, I'll do it all on the third one instead. So um, it's a simple message just to say, hey, thank you, Kim, for hosting the show with me. I know that your friends are just going to have so much fun that night. So it just wanted to simply say thank you and to let you know I'll be in touch done done with it that call is done I'm done with that one so <clears throat> and then the other call that I think is the real real important one is the um, the last call I make to a host usually about three or four days prior to her show um, I will actually give her a call and the reason that I think this one is really important is because this is the one this is the one call you're going to find out whether or not that host is starting to panic. Oh my god, I called 40 people just like you said, I have nobody that's responded or you know, we had a huge snowstorm. Now what am I going to do? She's starting to panic. She only has four people coming. Oh my goodness. So you want to know that host. So what you want to do is, since now you've already known why she booked the show, whether or not it was for the free products or for, you know, just to have fun with her friends, try to bring that in with her panic situation and try to get her, her calm down because you're going to hit these hosts that are going to do this. Um, I had a show where I went to the show, traveled almost 45 minutes to go to the show, and it ended up being the host, her nine-year-old son, and her seven-year-old daughter. And that was it. Nobody showed up. So she was livid. And I said, no worries. I'm here. So I'm going to practice 
a kids in the kitchen show or a mama and me show instead. So the kids, do you think they'll want to help me make the recipe? And we'll sit there. I made the recipe. My time was already scheduled. So I might as well use it as a training for, um, you know, for my next show. So out of her show, I mean, her son actually had a ball. He made a chocolate lava cake. Her daughter made, um, I think she was actually helping her mother do the nachos while I was helping her brother do the chocolate lava cake. He was so excited. He needed to show me how he makes his own cake in his own cup all the time. So it was out of that show, she booked another show, and it was a Mama and Me show instead of being a real live cooking show with a bunch of her friends, I showed her that I would love to work with kids. And so she scheduled the Mama and Me show. Had the Mama and Me show, and I got three bookings out of that one. Then out of those, it has gone to, I think out of her whole scheme of friends and everything, I've probably done like nine shows. Now, if I had not stayed that day and said, oh, <laughs> Nobody came. <laughs> okay, I'm packing my stuff back up. I'm, you know, put your ingredients away. I'll leave you the recipe so you can make it at another time. Bye bye. See you later. If I had done that, I would not have gotten those, you know, eight or nine shows. So it was important to me, and it actually it worked out great to my favor. So it takes you right back to the reason why you want to know who your host is and why she um, is booking that show with you. It's the same thing as recruiting. You know, we try to say, you know, Jess, why, why, what is your why with, I'm not actually asking you this question. I don't want to put you on the spot after only four days. Um, but, you know, what is your why for joining? Keep that why always in your head. It's the same thing with the host. So, Treat your host just like you would for like a, a new recruit. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm actually adding labels on all my host packets um, that I, I give out to my host. Um, because when I'm at a show now, and I just actually started this a uh, uh, couple months ago, I'm always trying something different. Um, to just kind of step up my game here a little. Um, but so I try right there when I'm at my full service check. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> my full service checkout, I will, you know, if somebody comes in and I start doing my full service checkout and they are going to book a show and I'm getting their packet all ready to hand to them, I go through their packet with them right on the top of my packet now, and I know you're not going to be able to see this either, but I put a label now, and it says chat time number one, chat time number two, chat time number three. What that does is right there while I'm giving my host that packet, I'm going to ask her, I'm going to say, geez, I, I make my phone calls to all my hosts on Tuesdays and Thursdays, either night one of those nights work best for you? Oh, yeah, Tuesday night works awesome. Good. So what is a good time for you? Um, yeah, I, I keep my timing um, also always in the back of my mind. But what I want to try to show my host is that um, I'm being respectful of her time. I'm not a pushy person. I don't like to push people. So um, to me, that makes it sound like I'm not a pushy person to her. Number one, so when I, as she's telling me the best time, oh, I put the kids to bed around 8 o'clock. So I'll say, oh, fine. I'll grab out my calendar the following Tuesday. I will mark her name in there at, you know, 8 o'clock because that's when she gets her kids to bed. Um, for hosts, I put HC1. Um, and that just tells me that I'm going to be host coaching her for the very first call. And um, I write it right on her folder. So I write it right on that label. Then I go to call number two. Tuesday's still good for you the following week? Oh, yeah, that's a good week. So then I'll write it right on there. Now, if her show happens to be within two weeks, then <clears throat> I'll push in another phone call with her in between that or or I'll text her or I'll email her or something. Um, so what does that show her? That shows her that, 
number one, it shows her that I'm organized. <laughs> she doesn't have to know that I'm really not organized, but um, but it it does it. And another thing it does is it it shows them that I'm committing. I'm committing to my day, my night, on putting it on my calendar that night. So now she's going to actually take that as, whoa, okay, this girl knows what she's doing. She's actually writing it on her calendar, and I better get her call because it's, sometimes it's a little tough getting to host. So, but personally, by putting it on there, it just um, – it feels like I'm not being pushy and I'm being considerate of her time. I don't want to interrupt her dur during her dinner times. My dinner time is different than her dinner time. So um, the other thing I always do also is I just, I actually just started this for my last two hosts and you're not going to be able to see it. I have been putting, can anybody see this? Can everybody see this? Kind of. Okay. Well, what it is, is we always say that we try to get them to have 40 people at their show, right? So I have just, I've made this, I've just, like I said, done this for two shows of mine and it's worked out awesome. I got a host of mine right now working on her second sheet. So what it is, is it basically says, feeling lucky to, today, pick your square for only $2. So remember, there's 40 numbers on here. So now I'm asking my host, I'm putting this right into my host packets now, and I'm asking my host to bring this, let everybody know at work that you're having, that she's having a pamper chef party, but what will happen is if they want to pick a number on this square and it only costs them $2, whatever the amount is that she collects off from those squares, um, that the winner is going to get that collected amount in product value. So that host now is like, wow, you know, I, I've already got, I've got already got $80. I'm working the, the one that I'm doing right now. I've already got 80. I've already got $80. So I'm already, can I make a copy of this? I said, Oh, absolutely. So if she fills up two, she's already got a $160 order that somebody is going to win. That's almost a show. So to her, that's actually keeping her pretty excited. And that's what we want to always do with our hosts is we always want to keep them excited. That's why the three calls, we recommend the three calls. <clears throat> um, but this number, um, this they will, I will actually draw it at their live show. I'm trying to actually figure this out to be able to use, utilize on Facebook events and stuff. But like I said, I've had two two hosts already that have already filled up all squares. It's kind of like a Patriot Super Bowl. Did everybody watch that awesome game? Oh my that goodness. Awesome. That was an awesome well, game. Question. Yes, Jen. Um, now what was it? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that game, the $2, yes. um, they have to be at the show in order to get that in free product. Is that right? No, nope. If they put two dollars down, I will yeah. pick the winner at the live show. And the only reason why I do that is so that nobody know that I'm cheating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Matter of fact, I'll actually have the host pull it. But matter of fact, the last um, party I had, um, that guest was not there. Okay. So I'll just let them know. Um, matter of fact, they have to put their name and their telephone number. So if their number wins, then I'll just call them and say, hey, guess what? <laughs> Jen, yay, you just won. Oh, my goodness. Not only $80. Well, actually, each one has to be separate. So she's running a new sheet. Mm -hmm. It has to be another, another. Um, so it's going to be two. So the most that a guest could win is going to be $80. And with that $80, okay. if the host fills the whole thing up, with that $80, they're going to get the free gift for guest special for $75. Okay, yeah. So the the one that I'm having now, um, she's going to have to, we're going to have to do it twice. But, oh, yeah, hey, Jen, guess what? You just won $80. How many, how many times did you put your name in there? You know? 
twice. I let them put as many as they want. You know, okay. $4, you spend $4 and you're getting $80 plus you're going to get the guest special for free. So I do have this, so I will um, post it. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning I'll post it in um, right on. Uh, Jen, you're are you on the baddie downline or? Yes, I am. Okay. And because I know there's been a thing with um, – uh, each director pulling their people off from the baddie downline because it's just getting so big. But okay. so you're on it because you're under who? I'm under Michelle. So you're I'm on the Weinstein too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're on Weinstein's also. So yeah. what I'll do is I'll actually post it on baddie downline and okay. you know, I could even um, tag each one of you or something. Carol, whose team are you on? Who's your uh, director? Mary Haynes. Mary oh, Oh, you from Florida? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, you're in the best team there is, girl. <laughs> do you do Facebook shows too? Once in a while, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Mary is the Facebook queen. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could do what she does, but I, I'm uh, I'm trying. But anyway, so yeah, I'll post this. And like I said, it keeps the host so excited. I, I couldn't believe it the first two shows that I had. Um, you know, I, the very first one I tried it on, it was kind of like a trial run and I told her she was a Guinea pig. Um, but, um, I, she called me, she said, Oh my goodness, I've got 10 names there. So, mm. so it worked out pretty good. Um, and she was excited. And the last thing I have for you is I always, always do thank you cards now. Um, I, whenever I leave a live show, I'll always use the restroom before I go. And I always will take this card. Um, I have them all written up. They all say the same thing. So hopefully, um, when somebody books in six months, they don't, they haven't kept the other one because it's going to say <laughs> the exact same thing. Um, but all I put, put in there is thank you so much for inviting me into your home to party with you and your friends and relatives. I truly enjoyed showing everyone how fun a Pampered Chef party can be. And I look forward to seeing you again at the next show. If you ever are curious enough to see what this business could do for you, please look me up. I've got my, my um, business card stapled right to it. Sometimes I put a little card in there. Um, I mean, a piece of chocolate or, or something in there, maybe a recipe card or something. And I always leave it in the back of the toilet. So when she goes in, she goes to the restroom or one of her kids go with, hey, mom, there's something in there that has your name on it. Um, so it's if if I don't happen to leave it there and I find it in her folder when I get back home, I'll always throw it in the mail. Some people do mail it, but uh, I always use the restroom, so I, that's where I put it. Anyway, um, so that's all I have tonight. I don't know if I um, – oh, I went over a little. Oh, must have been feeling more better than what I thought I was. So just a, just a little bit on host coaching. And like I said, there's a lot on Consultants Corner, so read that. But is there any questions? Anybody have any questions? Do I get any of, like, the host folders with my new kit? I haven't even gotten the starter kit yet. <laughs> okay, which kit did you purchase? The deluxe one, the oh, middle the one. The middle one? Yeah. Um, I'm not too too sure but i think you get four okay um kimberly you just ordered the big kit did you get eight or did you get four i believe there was four okay so you might just um when did you actually order it friday yes? friday. friday okay so it it'll come really quick you've already gotten your email and everything giving you your consultant number yeah kudos to you for being on this already that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and, um, yeah, so I think you're going to get four. But, you know, it, I use these. Some, some people think that it's, um, you know, they are a little pricey. And, and they are for four folders. Um, but when I, before I used these, all I did was use um, 
you know, regular, regular folders from like Staples or something, you know, manila folders or whatever. So um, just I use what you can. Use gallon size. I I'm still use gallon size Ziploc bags. Oh, you still do? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, and that's, that's another thing that you can use is um, something like that to hand out your, your, um, your pat host packets and stuff. But I just like all the information on there, and it's yeah. to each your zone, however you want to do it. It's your business, so you use the stuff that you, you know, only you knows, only you knows, <laughs> only you know your budget and what you can, you know, afford to do right now. That's why we all start Pamper Chef, because usually why we all start, at least that's why I started, because I needed money. Um, I didn't want the free stuff. I wanted money. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, use what you want, what you can, and nobody's going to look at it and say, uh, oh, yuck, this is a Ziploc bag. <laughs> they <laughs> no. look at what's inside it. That's what they're looking at, so they don't really care. Anyway, so any other questions, anybody? How do you order the free product for the person that wins that raffle? I will usually add that. Well, this is going to be so. I'm if the host collects eighty dollars. Are you talking for this? Yes. The um, okay. If the host collects eighty dollars, she's giving me eighty dollars cash. It's two dollars. Oh, right. So not very many people will you know pay. I I won't allow the. Um, the two dollars to go on a credit card anyway um yep. so she's going to give me the cash I so i'm going to have cash. the cash yeah okay but it's a it's a great idea to keep i think it's a great <laughs> idea to keep your some people use um the bingo squares or whatever you know mm -hmm. it's it's just bingo squares and and the if the host books a show or gets a show booked before um you know, the start of her party, she can block off that one and, and so forth. Um, I just think this one here, so far, like I said, I'm, I'm giving it a 100 because it's worked out awesome. <laughs> so I will definitely put it on the, on the site for you guys. But any other questions? Kimberly, you're quiet today. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way, Kim. Thank you. It was yesterday on Valentine's Day. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and Jess, nice to meet you, and um, good luck. I'm sure you'll do Thank fine. You. Like Thanks. I said, if you're already on this call four days into this, then you're going to do just fine. You've, you've got the stamina, so go for it. <laughs> All righty. So if there's no more questions, I'm going to end the recording. Somewhere is here. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. What was a man's voice? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> I don't know.